subscribe to my channel making impossible and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any one of my upcoming videos yo what's up friends i'm shalazari and welcome back to making impossible the channel that teaches you how to make the impossible and be the smartest person in the room now as you know guys i have not been making videos for two weeks for that reason in today's video i'm going to be teaching you a really powerful and amazing card trick where you're going to read mind at first and then you're going to do a visual color change this trick is so amazing if you can execute it perfectly you're going to fool a lot of magicians so i hope you'll be enjoying learning this trick so without any further ado let's start our today's video <laughs> This week's Instagram feature goes to Magic Tube. Follow him on Instagram. Link will be given in the video description. I'll feature one lucky Instagram user every Monday in my Smack That Monday episodes. If you want your Instagram profile or page to be featured in my next Smack That Monday episode, follow the simple steps that are given in the video description. So now let's continue. Okay, guys, this is what the card trick looks like. Now, as you can see over here, I have this deck of cards completely mixed up. Okay, but still, I'm just going to shuffle these cards in front of you so that you don't suspect me of arranging these cards in any kind of order or something like that. And after shuffling it, I'm just going to keep a random playing card right over here and leave it right over here till the end of the trick. At this point, we don't need to know what card this is. We're going to know about this card at the end of the trick. So at this point, I'm again going to shuffle this deck of cards. And at this point, I'm going to show you that all the cards are mixed up, right? Now... As I refill down the side of the deck, you're going to call out stop at any point you want, okay? And let's say you call out stop at this point, okay? So I'm just going to take that card, which you called stop at, and I'm going to give it to you. You're going to see that card. I'm not going to look at it. So I'm looking away from the camera right now. And after you look at that card, make sure you remember this card. And I'm just going to take that card back. And then I'm going to take that card and put it back somewhere inside the center of the deck, okay? So that card right now goes somewhere inside the center of the deck and after that I'm just going to shuffle this entire deck of cards right in front of you. So at this point you know that your card is somewhere inside this set of 51 cards because this 52nd card is right over here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this card and I'm just going to turn it over. Now this is, this is not your card right because I kept this card before uh, even you have uh, selected a card from this pack of cards right from this set of cards so this card is a different card which i kept over here and this is the four of diamonds but now i'm going to use this four of diamonds to read your mind and find the card that you have selected okay so right now try to think the name of the card that you have selected think it loudly in your mind okay so as i can hear your mind i think you're going to you're thinking of you're thinking of the card that is the ace of diamonds right so if you're thinking of the ace of diamonds this is not the ace of diamonds but this does help me uh, this card sorry did help me to find out your card that is the ace of diamonds now as you can see over here my hand is empty i'm just going to use this card again to find out the ace of diamonds so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take this hand and wave over the four of diamonds and it actually changes into the ace of diamonds as you can see over here the card changes into the ace of diamonds so that's what the card trick looks like let's see how you can do this card trick okay guys this is how the card trick is done now at first obviously you, this is not going to be uh, any kind of setup there is not going to be any kind of setup in this card trick all you're going to do is after shuffling the deck of cards you're going to keep a random playing card right over here and we don't really need to know the name of the playing card we just need this playing card to turn it into the spectators playing card at the end of the trick. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shuffle these cards again and then I'm going to ask my spectator to select a random playing card. And while they select a random playing card, I'll make them feel that they're selecting a random playing card while I'll actually force them to select a particular playing card. So I'm right now I'm going to force them to select a particular playing card. And at this point, let's say this is the four of diamonds. I'm going to ask them. Uh, to randomly select a playing card but they are going to select this four of diamonds and i'm going to do that by doing a refill force okay so when i refill down the side of the deck they're going to say stop at any point they want and then after that i'm just going to give the card that is the four of diamonds to them so they think that this is a random card but no i've actually given them the four of diamonds 
by my own will and that is why I already know what card they have selected so you really don't have to read anyone's mind or anything you already know from beforehand what card your spectator has selected now after that what you're going to do is you're going to take that card back after the spectator has seen that card you're going to take it back and put it somewhere inside the center of the deck and then tilt it inside so that you get over here uh, you get the tilt over here you get that card to stick out from inside just like that and then you're going to use this finger to pull down that card and take a break under it sorry above it so at this point all you know is you have a break over here on top of the card that the spectator has selected now you bring now you need to bring this card to the top of the deck so you can do any kind of card control you want i did the mahatma card controlling technique which looks somewhat like this because i did this because it looks more natural and you can control the card while you are shuffling the deck of cards so at this point after doing the shuffle the card has actually come to the top of the deck so at this point the spectator thinks that the card has been shuffled within the deck of cards but still to make them convince all i'm going to do is i'm going to give a few more overhand shuffle but i'm going to do a retention technique with the top card i'm going to keep it in the top place so for that reason i'm going to hold the deck of cards just like that i'm going to use my these three fingers to pull down the top card along with this cards and then i'm just going to do the overhand shuffle so the top card actually stays on the top now at this point i'm going to do a couple of few more overhand shuffles false overhand shuffles like that and i know at this point the inspector's card is right over here so at this point the inspector is convinced that their card is somewhere inside the deck of cards and at this point all i'm going to do is i'm just going to go and grab this card and while i'm going to go and grab this card on the other hand what i'm doing is i'm just going to do the one-handed top palming technique okay so the one-handed top palming looks somewhat like this you use just one hand to palm the top card from the deck and at this point the top card is the spectre's card so you're going to palm the spectre's card from the top of the deck while you're going to bring this card because when you're going to bring this card the spectator's attention will be on this hand and this card they are not going to look at this uh, deck of cards or this hand and that's where if you even if you do a little bit of mistake while doing the one-handed top palming they won't see it so while you're going to grab this card you're going to do the one-handed top palming so at this point i've already palmed the playing card and then i'm going to take this deck of cards and i'm going to drop it right over here okay and at this point i'm going to keep this hand shaking in front of the spectator and tell them that so as you can see this is the random card that i kept over here and this should not be your playing card and i keep on doing this keep on saying this so that their concentration remains right over here and on the other hand what i can do is i can turn this palm card from this uh, this position to this position okay so all i do is while i keep talking to the spectator i bend my hand just like that and bend this card downwards okay and then when i go to turn this card with this hand i usually go over here keep this top part line up this top part with this part under the cover of this hand and then after that what i do is i pinch over here and the bottom of the card automatically snaps to this card so at this point right now the spectator would think that they have uh, i have one card over here but no i have two cards over here so at this point the spectator's card is on the back of this card right so one more time you need to do this move very swiftly so that nobody can see it now it is obviously not the best angle because from the top you can obviously see what is happening so the spectator should be sitting right in front of you and if they're sitting right in front of you they won't be able to see this card that is hidden in your hand okay so at this point you're going to do this move you're going to do it very fast so that it looks very natural like this and then you're going to, you obviously know that what card the spectator has selected so you're going to just pretend to read their mind and you're going to just keep these two cards together to these two cards squared up just like that over here and show your hand that they are the empty and then you're going to tell to your spectator that you're going to use this card to read their mind and ask them to think their card loudly and then you're going to pretend that you're reading their mind and obviously as you know their card already you're going to just name out their card in a more appropriate way just like uh okay i can hear i can hear what you're thinking and i think that you're thinking of the four of diamonds just like this uh pretend to read their mind and then they're going to be shocked already because you have already read their mind and now what you're going to do is you have to move this card away from top of this card right so all you're going to do is you're going to show your hands that both the hands are empty 
you're gonna come over here cover up the top card and then you're gonna just slide it away with your hand okay you're just sliding that card away and as you bring that hand near you're going to be sitting at the edge of the table okay so as you bring your hand near you you're going to just drop this card from the back of the table onto your lap and as you do that you're already clean you're going to just you're going to just move this card you're going to drop it back and you're already clean under this hand and you can show your hand is empty and then take this card take the single card spin it or whatever you want to do with it just make sure that your spectator is convinced that you have done a color change in front of their eyes as well as you have read their mind and that's how this miracle card trick works so that's it for the tutorial so i hope you enjoyed this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did so and don't forget to follow me on instagram at trailazari also if you have any questions you can use the comment section for that and don't forget to subscribe to my other channel which is a pretty savage channel i post entertaining videos and gameplays over there and the link to the channel will be given right in the description box as well as in the cards and don't forget to smash the subscribe button of this channel if you're not a subscriber yet and turn on the post notifications so that you don't miss my upcoming videos and my future smack that monday episodes peace